Welcome back to my shop. Today I'm going to rebuild an outdoor park bench for my neighbors. I'll go through the process of dismantling, cutting new parts, and reassembling back to a like new park bench. I'll also show you my dust collection box I built that I used for the sanding operation. Plus I'll show you how to keep a board from splitting using some string. Hope you enjoy the video and I hope it's helpful to you. These are the braces that I took off the bench and I've sandblasted them and now I'm going to put a primer coat on them. I've got the uh, metal parts that need sandblasting, two ends and the back piece. And I have all my wood cut to length. Now this larger, wider board has to be cut with the curve in it. See this curve here has to be put onto that wider six inch board. This uh, curved piece is quite unique. We can see that it has an angle here and it's rounded at the top. So I have to figure out the angle here and then I can bevel that and I can take a round over on the router where we're using the handheld router and do this. So we've got some work to do to figure that out. According to my angle gauge here, we've got approximately 70 degrees. We're gonna make it we're gonna make it 70 degrees here. So I've set my bandsaw up for 70 degrees, I have to follow the line from one end to the other because this is cut to length. And we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's going to work. I've still got the bandsaw at the 60 degree angle, but I've got to cut I've got to cut three more pieces of wood with that angle on it. The long one and two shorter ones. So I've got it all set up and I'm going to go ahead and cut the angle on these. So the end pieces have to be cut to width and I'm going to do that now and then the uh, basic cutting will be done and I'll have to do all the sanding after that. Perfect match. Well, here I am doing a dry fit, 
and I've got some trimming to do a little bit, a little bit in this section here, and I think that'll do it. And uh, the rest of it really is going to have to be the way it is. I could do it here, but well, that's a good idea too. Mark it. Mark it there. This way it'll push up a little bit better. Uh, what I've got to do is to, I've got an angle on this one to match that angle. And I've got to also put an angle on the opposite end so that they match up. There's a 70 degree angle. There's a 70 degree angle here, and I've got to put one on this end. Well, here's the old parts from my bench that I'm building. And I've got the bench all put together temporarily. I'm going to have to take it apart again to do finish sanding. I've got all the holes are inset, countersunk, and I've got the wood sanded one time, but now that I've put it together I've found that the uh, black paint from the metal parts rubbed off, so I'm going to have to sand them again before I put the uh, clear coat. I'll probably put several coats on there. And I have to take and sandblast the back and both sides. The neighbor's going to put it out in their patio under the roof so that it's not going to get weathered like it did before. Whereas you saw the, the wood is all rotted. As I'm taking the bench apart, I'm marking the end of the seat boards because the holes in the metal parts are not lined up perfectly. And if I don't put them back in the correct order, they won't go together properly. Now, this back piece, the top piece, I've got to go over to the router table and I've got to put a round over all the way down the end of this thing so that it'll be a nice curve like the original had. And then I also have to do, this is the first board in the front seat and that also has to have a round over on this edge here. Uh, won't be as dramatic as the one on the back. So, I'll have to set up everything and do those now. The uh, roundover I did on the front of the seat, I did it up here. It's not quite enough, not quite what I want. So, I've changed a bit and I'll uh, run it through again. Okay, so that's, that's enough. That should work fine. Just to make it smooth on the top edge so nobody cuts their finger. Well, I've got 150 grit in the palm sander. And I'm going to do basically the whole piece, all the seats and the back, everything else with 150 grit. And that should be fine enough. It's, Feels good, except that I got the dirt spots all over the place. So I'm going to clean this all up. This box here is a dust collector box, and I want to make sure that it's on. I forgot my remote. Okay, here we go again. Okay, so that's the last of the pieces. This is junk. And uh, I've got them stacked up over here, all sanded. 
ready to be put on yeah ready to be put on to the bench I still have the uh, powder power yeah back up sandblasting to do on the metal parts I don't know how many of you have built a dust collection box but I've got a uh, pegboard here with holes in it of course and I built a box plywood box with stabilizers for the pegboard to rest on this is tapered and my four inch dust collector hooks up to that I've got a big dust collector there so when I'm sanding everything flows down and into the 4 inch port works out pretty good it does leave some stuff I just cleaned it up a little bit but uh, it does a pretty good job and whenever I'm using a, a sander I can sand out anything and most of the dust goes into the dust collector All done. There's a primer coat on the side of the seats and there's a primer coat on the back. They've been sandblasted so we're good to go for a black paint on them and I'm going to put two coats of black paint on them. This little gadget I've had so long, I can't remember when I got it. Put it in an electric drill and attach the can to it. Turn on the drill and shake away. Do this for a minute or so and you're all shook up. Mm -hmm. I should have some background music for this. First coat of paint on uh, the primer. We put a primer on, we put a first coat of black Rust-Oleum. This is going to be an outside bench so we want to make sure that it's uh, weatherproof. Well everything is done with two coats of black all painted up the uh, legs and all what I'm going to do is put a little groove I've uh, put some string in here this is going to be the bottom of the feet we're putting this whole thing onto a concrete uh, a patio and the ladies don't want me to let the paint or the bottom of the uh, legs scrape on the concrete floor so what I'm doing is I put a groove in the board and what I'm doing is to wrap a string and I'm making a groove so that the string will be flush with the floor you don't have a, a bump there where the string is so I'm going to cut another groove and then I'll show you how I wrap the string. I've uh, put a little edge on the uh, line here and what I'm going to do is to use a chisel. I had been using my Dremel tool but it's not too good. It, uh, it did most of the grooves but uh, it didn't like working too hard so it died. So I'm just going to take and cut this out with the chisel. Okay, we've got 
what we used to call in the phone company 12 cord. I think this is a 9, nine cord, but same idea. And what you do, just make a little loop and lay it in your slot. My finger may be in the way here, but um, I'm going to go over the first one so that it's crossed over. And then I'm going to pull very tight and go over and around this until I get to the end of my little notch there. And what we do is the end of this that we've just cut short goes into the loop. And we take this part, that loop that I had originally made, and use it to draw in the end of the string. And that's all there is to it. Then you cut your edges off. And you have a beautiful, tight fitting piece. Push these in, close them up a little bit, but that's it. Now, the end of this won't crack because you've got strength on either side of it with the string and it's flush with the floor. So just to show you, these are the feet I just finished. I've wrapped the string on either end of the notch. I've notched out both this. I've marked them front. And they go right on the feet like this. The, this will be on the concrete. And then the bench will fit right into these notches. One for either side of the bench. And that fits right in there, so that when uh, it's on the concrete floor, these are pressure treated. And we've got the string around it, they're not going to crack. And they're going to keep the concrete from getting rust from the legs of the bench when I finish it. Well, we have all the parts done. All the metal has been sandblasted and painted black, two coats. And now I've finished up the wood slats on the back and the, uh, and the seat. We've got three coats of poly on them. So we're ready to put the whole thing together. I had a friend come over and we put the bench together, but I forgot to take a video of the process. I'm sure everyone knows how to put nuts and bolts on. We carried the bench across the street and it's in its new home. It came out as expected and the neighbors are very happy with the results. If you liked the video, please tell your friends and leave a comment if you care to. Plus, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.